What's up guys, it's Josie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my friend Molly. Hey everybody. Today we have a very special video for you. We're going to be doing some adaptive yoga. I'm a C6, C7 quadriplegic. Um, I graduated yoga instructor training four days after my accident. And so that really changed what instructor um, being an instructor was gonna look like for me. Um, and I've really worked on the benefits of why yoga is great for SCI um, functionally, you know, folding forward is something we really work on um, during these classes. Uh, that's an awesome thing to be able to do to functionally pick up things off the floor is incredible. It's a great skill to have. Um, we also do a lot of breath work. Um, if you have a higher um, spinal cord injury, you might have had compromised breath. So it's really important that we focus on our breath. Um, and then we focus a lot on spinal mobility um, and neck mobility, which is very important for SCI, um, of course, because we either have compromised spinal mobility or we have compromised neck mobility, either of which is a problem. And um, in order to drive or do different functional things, we're going to need to be able to look over our shoulders. So those are some of the things I try to hit during my yoga classes and why I think it's important for spinal cord injury specifically. We're going to be doing yoga both in your wheelchair and on the floor slash bed. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to start out just coming to um, a seated position in our chair, just making sure that we're comfortable, we feel stable. Um, sometimes I forget to lock my brakes, just making sure our brakes are locked. Uh, making sure that our feet feel stable on our foot plate. Even if we can't feel our feet, um, they give us great stability. So we wanna make sure that they're providing us with stability. I like to kind of just wiggle around, make sure my feet are providing me with stability. Um, and then also because we're wheelchair users, we don't facilitate a normal sit. We're sliding into our chairs a lot. So I like to just make sure that um, my um, fat and my legs are just like all in the right place. My sits bones are right. Um, I like to roll out maybe just my legs, making sure that I feel planted and very stable. Um, we'll be moving around when we wanna feel planted. So we're gonna start out just focusing on our breath. We're gonna close our eyes. Placing our hands in our lap, taking a deep breath here. As you take a deep breath, I want you to inhale, hiking the shoulders up to your ears. And as you exhale, you're lowering them down, pulling the shoulder blades together as they melt down your spine. So again, inhale, rolling those shoulder blades up to your ears. And exhale, letting those shoulders pull together and melt down the spine. Just warming up the shoulders here. Beginning to focus on our breath. Really working to inhale as much as we can. Inhale until we can't inhale anymore and then that's when we start to exhale and then exhaling out until we can't anymore. And then that's when we begin to round out our shoulders, hiking them back up, inhaling. Beautiful job. Just taking a few of these, matching your breath to your movement. Beautiful job. And coming to stillness when you're ready. What I want you to do next is placing one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart if your balance allows. I just want you to take a few breaths here. If your balance is challenged here, you can place one hand down for balance, but just noticing your inhale as you inhale. Are you feeling your chest fill and your belly fill at the bottom? Before you exhale, pulling everything back to the center. And if we can't physically pull our abs to the center, pull our belly button into our spine, if we can't physically do that when we're exhaling, maybe just imagining what that would feel like. Pulling all the corners of our belly into the center, into our belly button. Beautiful job. When we're ready, bringing our hands back to resting in our lap, opening our eyes. We'll get into some stretching here. Again, just making sure we're feeling planted and stable again. We're gonna inhale, planting one of our hands. I like to plant mine on my push rib. You can plant yours on your tire, the corner of your chair, your leg, whatever brings you the most stability. This is our planted, stable hand. So our next hand, we're gonna inhale out to the side, flipping our palm up to the sky. 
and then exhale, guiding that arm up and over, palm is now facing the ground, and we're bending into that planted arm. Our elbow is bent in, and we're finding good compression on the side of our body. Beautiful job. When we inhale, we really wanna be reaching. Anytime our fingers are extended, I want us reaching in the direction of those fingers. And at the same time, as we hold this stretch here, we want a long line of energy from those fingers all the way down through this hip bone, which we want really reaching down into our seat cushion. So here, I'm not facilitating my hip reaching down, and there I am. So it's just a small movement. And if you can't facilitate that, maybe just imagine what that would feel like just to dig that hip bone back a little bit further to give you a little bit more of a stretch through that side body. Beautiful job. Inhale, back to center. We're gonna take that on the opposite side. So planting our once overhead arm wherever brings us most stability. We're gonna inhale our opposite arm up to the sky. Palm is facing the sky and then exhale, flipping that arm up and over. Palm is now facing the ground. And we're really again reaching, reaching, reaching through those fingertips for the side room. Whatever is out to the side of our fingertips, that's what we're reaching in the direction of. Beautiful job. Breathing here, never holding our breath. We always wanna be breathing. I find that after my spinal cord injury, I've been holding my breath a lot when things get hard. We wanna make sure we're breathing, bring oxygen back to our muscles. Inhale, back to center. Beautiful job. We're gonna take our spinal twists now. So we'll do the same thing. We're gonna just inhale one of our arms out to the side. This is gonna be our planted hand. I like to hook mine behind my push cane and grab my um, side rail. This is gonna help me get into my twists better, but you can do whatever works for you. You're just gonna plant that hand and then our opposite hand is coming to our opposite knee. We're gonna sit tall on the inhale, and then on our exhale, we're gonna to start to twist. Just gently here, since this is our first twist. Taking an inhale here, growing tall. And then on the exhale, we're gonna twist a little deeper, maybe looking over our shoulder if we can, if our neck mobility allows. Again, I love twists so much because if we're going to be driving and we have a cervical level injury, we need to be able to use that spinal twist to look over our shoulder instead of just our, our heads. Just taking a few breaths here. Again, as we inhale, we're almost breathing space in between each of those vertebrae of our back. And as we exhale, we're twisting in here. We're sinking in a little bit deeper. Taking one more inhale here, and then exhale, unwinding, coming back to center. Beautiful. We're gonna take that on the opposite side. So planting your planted arm, whatever works best for you. And then we're gonna inhale our opposite arm up to, this, up to the sky, sorry. And we're gonna bring it to opposite hand to opposite knee. Beautiful job. Inhale, sitting tall, growing long. And then on our exhale, we're twisting in here. Beautiful job. Again, as we inhale, we're growing space between each of those vertebrae as if we were breathing that air into them. And then as we exhale, we're twisting a little bit deeper. We're helping our body anchor into this position. Beautiful job, holding here. Again, as we breathe, we're sitting taller as we inhale. And on our exhales, we're twisting in. Beautiful. Unwind, coming back to center. All right, beautiful job. We'll get into some of a flow. Um, we'll run through a Sun A series. Uh, very excited about this. Um, one of my goals as an adaptive yoga instructor is to encourage people to get back out into the studio, to go take a non-adaptive class, to be in the front row if you wanna be in the front row. Um, you know, go back to doing the things that you love and going to a studio and getting out in the community is something that I so love. And I would love to bring it to other people. So you don't have to be um, you know, able-bodied to be able to take a yoga class. We're gonna go ahead and run through an adaptive sun egg. This is just my way as an adaptive instructor. You might find ways that work better for you. I would love your feedback if you wanna pass it on to Josie. Um, 
And you know, you might find another instructor that speaks to you uh, better than I do or helps you get into poses better. That's perfectly fine. I just wanna give you an opportunity to enter into that um, safe zone where you feel comfortable getting back into the community. So we're gonna make sure that again, we're planted after twisting. We might've moved a little bit in our chair, making sure that we're really stable. We're gonna have both of our arms above shoulder plane. Um, so we might throw off our balance a little bit. So when we're ready, we're gonna inhale, both of our arms up to the sky. Beautiful. We're really reaching up with our fingertips here. If our balance allows, we can go ahead and look at those fingertips. If our balance is a little wibbly wobbly like mine today, you can go ahead and remain in a neutral neck. Holding here, I want you to turn those pinkies in. We're really trying to activate all of our muscles here. So turning those pinkies into the body is gonna activate those arms and we really wanna be reaching here. We're trying to activate the back. We might find instability because we find ourselves pulling off of our backrest, just sitting a little bit straighter here. Beautiful job. When we're ready, we're gonna exhale, bringing our hands to the corners of our chair, the front corners. Inhale, dropping our belly down into our lap, guiding our chest through our biceps, tucking our elbows into our rib cage, and then slowly, one vertebrae at a time, we're gonna exhale, lowering down. Being careful to watch your blood pressure and your balance here. We're lowering all the way down into our lap until our shoulders are gonna be just resting on our knees. And when we're ready, we can release our hands to the ground if we feel stable enough. And then we can just let our neck hang heavy here. Maybe nodding the head yes and no, maybe rolling it around. I find that my neck is a little bit looser. It finds more freedom in this gravity-free position. Maybe you notice something different. Maybe this is harder for you. When we're ready, we're gonna inhale our arms back up to our chair, our palms back to the corners of our chair. We're gonna tuck those elbows into our rib cage to protect our shoulders. We're wheelchair users. We're always protecting those shoulders. And when we're ready, we're gonna inhale, but we're only gonna come up to 45 degrees, so our elbows are still bent. So this is our flat back rises. If an instructor says flat back rises, we're facilitating a flat back. We have a long line of energy from our tailbone all the way through the crown of our head. Exhale, lowering all the way down, releasing our hands to the ground, letting our head hang heavy. When we're ready, inhale, bringing our hands to the corners of our chair, tucking our elbows into our rib cage. This time we're gonna inhale, we're gonna come up to straight arms, but we're still, our shoulders are still lofted up over those palms. Beautiful job. We're gonna drop our belly a little bit down into our lap holding here, really trying to pull the belly, all parts of the belly into the belly button. And if we can't do that, maybe just imagining what that would feel like, to pull the four corners of our belly into the center. Taking a breath here. Now we're gonna come into our chaturanga push-up, keeping those elbows tucked into our rib cage. We're gonna do an eight count lowering down here. It should be hard, it should burn out those triceps, and we're gonna go slow. So eight, seven, Six, five, woo, three, two, one. Lowering down, extending the arms, letting the head hang heavy. Beautiful job. Inhale, bringing our hands to the corners of our chair, tucking our elbows into our rib cage. Again, rising up to that same position. This time we're really working to drop that belly down into our lap, really shining the chest through our biceps. So we're keeping those arms straight, but we're really trying to facilitate a curve in our back here. We're dropping that belly down, we're shining the chest forward. Beautiful job. This is our up dog, or our cobra pose position. Holding here, taking a breath. Exhale, tucking those elbows into the rib cage and slowly lowering down. Releasing the hands, letting the head hang heavy. Inhale, bringing the hands to the corners of the chair, tucking those elbows into the rib cage. This time we're gonna push through our palms to slowly, one vertebrae at a time, curl up. So what I mean by that is our, our face is looking down toward our lap. We're pulling our belly button into our spine and we're kind of in a C-shaped position with our spine. We're pulling our shoulder blades apart as we push our palms into the chair here. Beautiful job. Our spine is in that C-shaped position. We are in our down dog here. Really want you pushing through those arms, really pulling those shoulder blades apart here. 
Beautiful job. When you're ready, taking an inhale, dropping that belly down in the lap, letting the chest shine through the biceps, tucking those elbows into the ribcage, and slowly one vertebrae at a time, lowering down. Again, making sure we're always protecting our blood pressure, we're aware of it, we're making sure that we're okay right now. Beautiful job, letting the head hang heavy here. When we're ready, inhale, bringing our hands to the corners of our chair, tucking our elbows into the ribcage. We're going to come all the way up to see it this time. Our hands and our fingertips are going to be the last thing to follow. Exhale, hands come down. Beautiful job. So that was our Sun A series. Um, we can quickly get into a Sun B. I think we certainly have time for it. So we'll get into a Sun B very quickly just before um, we go maybe into some cool down stretching. All right, so we're going to follow the same format as our Sun A. We're just going to add on to it this time. So inhale, arms come up to the sky. Gaze follows fingertips with balance allows. Exhale, bringing our hands to the corners of our chair, dropping our belly into our lap, shining our chest through our biceps, tucking our elbows into our ribcage. We're slowly lowering down again. Remember to keep that spine in a straight position as we lower down. That's going to work our arms a little bit more here. Until we're just shoulders resting over top of those knees, releasing our hand and our head to hang heavy. Beautiful job. We're going to run through this a little bit faster this time since we know what we're doing. Inhale, bringing our hands to the corners of our chair, tucking our elbows into our rib cage. We're going to slowly rise up. We're keeping those elbows bent at that 45 degree angle. We are lofted up, shoulders over top of our knees. Beautiful job. Flat back rises. We're facilitating a long line of energy from our tailbone all the way through the crown of our head. Beautiful job. Exhale, lowering down. Safely in control, lowering the hands down, letting the head hang happy. Beautiful, inhale, bringing the hands to the corner of the chair again, tucking the elbows into the rib cage. This time we're gonna inhale all the way up to straight arms, keeping the shoulders lofted forward over top of the hands this time. We're coming into our chaturanga push-up again. This time we're gonna do some push-ups. We're gonna get push-ups and pulses in. So what I want is an eight count of push-ups here. We'll lower down and come all the way back up. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keeping those elbows tucked, good job. Two, one more, and we're gonna come all the way up because we're not cheaters. Awesome job, then we're just gonna lower all the way down. Letting the head and neck hang heavy. Beautiful job. Awesome job. Maybe shaking out those wrists and those arms, putting them through the ringer with those tricep push ups. Beautiful job. Inhale when you're ready, bringing your hands to the corners of your chair, tucking your elbows into your ribcage, slowly rising up. Again, we're coming to straight arms this time, but we're going to drop our belly down into our lap, really shining our chest or our bicep. So our biceps to facilitate the curve in our spine. We're really trying to curve our spine. We're dropping that belly into our lap. Our gaze is just looking ahead of us. Beautiful job holding here. This is our cobra or up dog. Exhale, tucking those elbows into the rib cage and slowly lowering down. Ooh, these tricep push-ups are killing me. <laughs> Letting your head hang heavy. Beautiful job. Inhale, bringing your hands to the corners of your chair, tucking your elbows into your rib cage. This time, pushing through your palms. We're really working to round out our spine the opposite direction this time. So a C-shaped position. We're pulling the belly button into our spine. Our gaze is looking toward our lap, and we're pushing through our palms to pull those shoulder blades apart. Beautiful job. This is our down dog position. We're really working those shoulders, pulling those shoulder blades apart from each other. Really working to dig our palms into the corners of our chair here. Beautiful job. When we're ready on the inhale, we're just gonna slide our hands back to our hips, sitting up straight. Beautiful job. When we're ready, we're gonna inhale one of our arms up to the sky. You can keep your um, hand that's not raised planted on your lap, on your chair. If you want to challenge your balance, go ahead and try to take it off of your lap. But we're just going to really reach with that arm, really working to reach for the sky. And then in that opposite direction again, we're working to really drop that hip down into our chair here. 
So really working to pull yourself a long line of energy all the way from our fingertips down through our hip bone, which is almost as if it were trying to root down into the ground. Beautiful job. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Exhale, bringing that hand down. Beautiful job. Inhale, our opposite hand is gonna come up. Again, if you wanna challenge your balance, you can raise one of your hands. Really the reaching, whatever direction our fingertips are pointing, that's the direction I want us reaching. So we're really reaching almost for the sun, and then our hip is really dropping down here. We're really working, if we can, to drop this hip into the seat corner. I don't know if you notice a different on different sides, but I am noticing that it's harder for me to drop my left hip down than it was for my right. I kind of have to feel it more, think about it more. So maybe just imagining what that drop would feel like if you can't feel it. Beautiful job. Exhale, lowering that hand down. All right, when we're ready, we're gonna inhale both of our arms up to the sky. Gaze is gonna follow fingertips if our balance allows. Again, turning those pinkies in toward the body to really challenge those arms. And when we're ready, one of our arms is gonna drop forward, the other's gonna windmill backwards. Both of our palms are facing the ground. We're coming into our warrior two position. Beautiful job, Jessie looks awesome. Of course, she's a warrior. I sometimes like to use my push cane to help me anchor in here. It gives me a little bit more stability if you need. This is a really hard, twist to stay in if you don't have great control um, or a lot of ab function right now. So this is great to practice if you need help facilitating a hold, that's okay to uh, maybe wrap onto a push cane here. Beautiful job. When we're ready, we're gonna inhale our back arm up. So both of our arms are coming back up to the sky. And then we're gonna switch arms, dropping our back arm to the front and we're gonna windmill that back arm. Good job, both palms facing the ground. Beautiful, gaze is looking out over our front fingertips. We're in our warrior two position. We're trying to sit tall and long. Beautiful. Exhale, bringing that hand back up to the sky. Taking an inhale here. And then exhale, bringing our hands down. Beautiful job. Well, that was our Sun A, Sun B, and a little bit of stretching today. Thanks so much for watching this video. I am definitely feeling the burn from this workout. We hope you enjoyed and learned some things. And if you like this video, check out Molly's channel, Adaptive Yoga with Molly, for some more classes. And for my content, you know, I do wheelchair lifestyle and travel. So if you like this, subscribe to me as well. So we'll be having a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye.